Hey everybody, Shabu here. I'm back from the review and today I'm going to be showing you how to use module scripts in Roblox. So the first thing we want to do is just get the module script and stuff. So we're going to go to view, open up explorer and properties, output to check for errors, and now you should have all of these tabs open. Next, what we're going to do is get our example here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to replicate to storage. I'm going to right click it, insert object, and then insert a module script. Now this, are, this right here already looks confusing. Like why is the script starting with this instead of hello world or something? But module scripts are basically like a book that other scripts can read. They don't actually do anything, but they tell scripts what they, what it should do. Like for this example, I'm just going to name this like book. And then I'm going to get another script because module scripts only work if there's another script telling it to do something. So I'm going to get a script. I'm going to go to server script servers, insert object, and then I'm going to enter a regular script. We're going to make this script get the book. So local book, it was require game, get service, replicated storage, wait for child book. Now what this does is just getting the book. So it's just getting this script. And what that means is that it can read the script. So if, for example, if I put this in it, like module.fruit equals apple. So we have an apple fruit inside of the book. If we go back to the script here, since we have the book variable here, we can actually read that from the book. And as you can see here, it actually shows and autofill we can actually see what the fruit is. So we can actually print that out in the script here. So if I press play here, it's printing apple because we made it, we made it print what it read from the book, which is the fruit. Now you can actually make functions inside of module scripts where, which is pretty useful. So let's say I wanted to make a function where you can like eat the fruit or something. So module.eat fruit equals function like that. Now we can actually use that function through this script. So I'm just gonna make it, I'm just gonna make it wait two seconds after it prints the fruit. And then as you can see here, once you go back to autofill here, there's an option where we can eat the fruit because it's inside of the book. And multiple scripts can read the book. Like if I got a local script here, I can just copy all of this code from the server script, paste it right there. And it'll do the same thing because they both can read the book. So you can have thousands of scripts all reading the same book and easily change the values and stuff, which is very, which is a very useful use for module scripts. Module scripts are basically just for like organization. So let's make this function do something. I'll just make it print to like eating fruit, wait like two seconds and then print done eating fruit. And then back in the script here, I'll just make it print done running script and I'll disable this client for now. Now, if I press play here, it's going to print the name of the fruit and then it's going to eat the fruit as you can see right there in the output. Now, obviously this would still work if you just did like this, like a normal function. And then you just did that instead of all of the module script stuff. But if you have multiple scripts in your game and you want them to do the same thing, module scripts are definitely the way to go because you can easily change it without having to change so, changing like a bunch of scripts all doing the same thing. And if I went to this local script here and I run it, it'll actually do the same thing because it can also read the book. You can see it in output and did all of the same stuff. And especially all you need to know about module scripts really. It is a book that scripts can read and use. And that's how you use module scripts in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.